Hey, so uh, I'm working on this one, I'm sweaty, but I wanted to make a, a quick video, um, try to keep it under like five minutes. I just had something happen to me on Instagram, which I feel like we all know what's coming with the censorship, with the monitoring, with uh, something in the background that is always watching. So you watch what comments you say and what you don't say. And it's getting to the point where you don't even have real conversations anymore because your comments or your live feed or anything is so edited with your mind in the background, always wondering if you're going to upset the algorithm and the censorship. So I was just commenting on uh, one of the podcasts or somebody on Instagram that does a talk show. And all I did was um, type in the exact stats from the CDC's website talking about the deaths in 2019 being 24 to 64,000 for flu and the deaths in 2020 that were 646. That's all I put. I immediately got kicked off of Instagram. I got a message sent to me from Instagram saying that my account could be deleted. I had to hit OK, um, acknowledging that the uh, that I've read it. And they didn't exactly say what was wrong with the post, but basically said it's not allowed. So, in a way, like our freedom of speech is completely being censored. If I can't have a conversation about, um, I mean, it, it, it could get as ridiculous as like, hey, my favorite player in baseball is Babe Ruth. And you're debating somebody saying Pete Rose is their favorite player. Well, Pete Rose was caught cheating, allegedly, so or, or gambling. So are you going to feel that you can't have that open conversation with that person on a platform um, eventually because... The AI algorithm, you know, doesn't acknowledge P. Rose as a viable option. Like, that's to the point we're getting. I know that's a big exaggeration of how far it could get, but is it really? Like, if we can't talk truths about statistics or even have debates, like, maybe they're not, maybe, maybe they're my truths. Maybe it's my opinion. Um, to voice something. That's that's how we got where we are, is having opinions and having ideas that we could go back and forth with our peers and spitball off each other and then go, no, you're ridiculous, or, you know, have that debate platform. We don't have that anymore. So I hope you guys realize what's going on. This whole 2020, 2021 thing that we're dealing with, it's a lot bigger picture than what we're seeing at surface level. There's a lot at stake here. And I really hope that you guys recognize what's going on. Um, in the back of your mind, I'm sure you've censored yourself in some way, in some conversation, at some level to somebody. Maybe it's not on a platform, maybe it's in real life, and you've done it in a way that you're starting to do it more and more that you don't think of it. So in other words, they're controlling the way that you speak and they're controlling the way that you react and say things because it's almost like in the back of your mind, you know that they're listening, watching, and they're going to eventually retaliate against you. So I got the warning on Instagram for uh, posting facts from the CDC's website about <laughs> deaths. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't post the actual link because it was on a live video. Otherwise, I would have just posted that. But it was word for word um, straight off their site. So just know um, you're kind of under attack at this point. It, it sounds really stupid, but I know deep down you guys all know something's not right. I don't have a solution for it. All I can say is be aware of it. And if there's a chance to fight back or call it out, do it because... Um, future's not looking so bright if we continue just letting it go the way that it is. Like I said, this is a, a much bigger, longer game than what they've put in front of us the last year and a half, I guarantee it. This is a uh, look for all control digitally and always possible. So this is just the beginning. So good luck out there. Be diligent. Um, if you don't see me again on Instagram or Facebook, you know what happened. Uh, it's getting kind of exhausting trying to uh, 
give you guys information. It's very unrewarding, but hopefully I'm reaching a few of you guys. So have a good night.